Welcome to the new episode of MSB's Chatter. In March, we had a chance to interview Ms. Yasmin Neris Royao, a former actress and now the CEO of Shoppertainment Live Inc., the country's first full production live streaming agency. And this is her interesting story. Um, we've been putting a lot of efforts in building the team, especially because we've been growing. Um, as mentioned before, uh, well, as mentioned earlier, the number of streams per per month namin is increasing. So definitely, the efforts namin for HR support team, um, also our operations. That's what we're focused on right now to right. really make make. Uh, Make the demands to meet the demands, rather. Hmm. Um, you have been, you have been a part of ABS-CBN for almost ten years. Uh, so why did you decide to leave the television uh, television industry? Uh, the television industry. Well, actually, um, I worked with ABS-CBN as an on-cam talent, and then eventually became one of the digital heads for market uh, for ABS-CBN CPI. So I saw the opportunity, especially on digital and also on e-commerce, when I got to meet our partners. So that's Steve C. So he's the founder of Great Deals E-commerce in the Philippines. Uh, I also have an influencer and PR marketing firm partner, which is Blaga Palusa, and that's Ace Gapus. So when I saw the opportunity for digital and e-commerce, it all made sense. Because oh. before in TV, when I was with O Shopping, uh, meron siyang, the, the reason why the the show would sell or like the program would earn is the retail conversion ng bawat mm. order. So yun yung nature ng ganong type of program. But when I became one of the managers in ABS, I saw that the entertainment industry is more of advertising sales. Mm. So in a way, uh, baka there's a opportunity to do those two things together to earn for media. So nagkaryan kasi ako ng parang um vision to really or purpose actually to to make it work that media and commerce would flawlessly integrate together i saw that because i was exposed to home shopping for so long for five oh. years even as a talent i was seeing the people behind the scenes you know creating the production the visual merchandisers making it really nice for the products to be presented well i also saw the merchandisers who are reeling in the commerce yung mga products na ifi feature and also yung logistics side so it was so fascinating for me even though people would only just see us hosting and uh, being glamorous on tv but what i saw was different it was the whole production process the commerce side and even the logistics. So with that, I got really amazed. And uh, yun nga, as, as um, uh, after that five year stint of being a host for O Shopping, I realized that I wanted to learn more. So oh. I also studied um, productions. So naging segment producer ako for this uh, production house, which catered to ANC, to Rappler, and even to some lifestyle shows. So the works of the operations for productions, I, I tried to understand and make it happen. And from there, I'm nagtuloy tuloy siya to the business side of things. So, kumbaga, nagawa ko yung 360 ng right. media industry. And I saw both the shift of broadcast to digital. So it right. was just an amazing journey. And yun, that's where we came up with Shoppertainment. Um, as a, um, it's it actually came from a trend in China, so shoppertainment is a combination of shopping and entertainment. Uh, in okay. China, they even call it entertainers. Yeah. Entertainment. Uh, in 2015, it became really big. Uh, it started with Taobao. That's a platform there for live stream shopping, and then eventually, in 2016, the last one that boom. 2019, mas nagboom pa. And then, na-introduce siya sa Philippines through Lazada Life and Shopee Life. Kasi sabi ko, wow, para siyang yung ano, uh, version 2.0 ng home shopping. Tapos, mas customized na, mas madali. Hindi na masyadong matrabaho sa mga production. So, it's just uh, amazing. And we just wanted to make it happen here in the Philippines. Hmm. That's why it all made sense looking back. So, can you say that your five years stint in home shopping is 
is what you got interested in business? Or? Oh yes, definitely. Um, in O Shopping, we weren't taught to just be a performer. We were there to really understand what the products were, even experience the products at home, um, understand what the USP of the product was. It was a different um, opportunity for performance. It's like you're being a, a salesperson talaga. We were taught that way. So in Star Magic, where I started, it was all about entertaining people lang. Like, uh, per, parang tinulungan nila kami mag-train for dancing, for singing, for acting, and even image and how you project yourself. But come O-Shopping, it was super different. We were actually trained in Korea. I was sent to Korea to really talk with the shop host there who's, who've been doing it for a long time for broadcast. And doon, tinuruan nila kami sa mindset. And the mindset is all about selling and at the same time, entertaining people. Ang bida dito yung product, tsaka kung paano mo relate yung brand para sa, sa audience mo. So yun yung mindset when it comes to shop hosting. And we actually apply that in shop pertainment as well. Gumawa kami ng trademark na term. We call it influence sales. So ngayon, uso yung mga influencer. So pag influencer ba, nag engage ka, nag inform People follow you because they have a certain purpose. But at the same time, a salesman knows how to sell products, understand the USP. So combining those two things, we created influence sales as a mindset. There. So parang dun siya nag-root. And all those buckets of experiences then. Yeah, it's in 2019 when it started mm -hmm. with Lazada Live and Shopee Live. Mm -hmm. But uh, my partner, Steve C., from Great Deals, uh, he's been doing e-commerce for so long. And he saw this trend from Alibaba. He was an Alibaba e-founder fellow. So nakita niya yung live stream commerce in China. Kasi mm -hmm. pumunta siyang China, nakita niya yun. And sabi niya, baka pwede to sa Philippines. And then, um, si Steve kasi, uh, friend siya ng husband ko uh, through digital marketing. They had a class together. And then they, they talked about it. And there was just a perfect fit. Sabi ko, I have the expertise for home shopping and we can definitely make it happen right away. So we did. It was a makeshift studio. As in, uh, we were creating um, mga ano lang, tela, tapos ring light. <laughs> tapos, as in, very makeshift lang talaga. And we started doing it. Uh, trying out the Lazada Live features uh, inside the platform, and then eventually created a structure for it, a simplified version of a home shopping production, mm -hmm. and uh, very fast in mounting. And of course, the efficiency of the measurement was very important. Mm -hmm. So yon, we were able to put mount that. Um, come 2020, nung nagbreak out yung pandemic, uh, it was actually a way for us to accelerate it and make it more efficient, yung process. Uh, kahit na yung, yung team namin, yung isa sa bataan, yung isa sa batangas, iba-iba, uh, we were able to come up with online productions to make it work. So the foundation of the whole process ng home shopping, meron na, like how do you create the concept, the scripting, but the technicalities yung naging problem. Kasi yun nga, wala yung studios, tapos hiwa-hiwalay. But eventually, nagkaroon na rin ng online recording, online shooting. So nakakatuwa kasi minsan, naalala ko si, si Catherine Bernardo or si Hart, uh, Catherine, can you move the product to the right, to the left? Ah, here! Ah, here! <laughs> Gimaganan ka na lang muna kami para lang ano, makuha namin yung gusto ng client and ng brand. So, it was um, it was such a uh, parang exciting experience. But at the same time, it was hard. Challenging not only for us in productions, but also our talents. So, we really had to work with them well. And... Uh, Thank God we, we got talents who are really professionals. Like even the top tier ones, they're really, really professional and very accommodating. So how big is your team right now? So right now we're 30 and growing. Uh, we're, we're targeting 100 by the end of the year. Um, wow. We started with just three. Ako yung admin at isang producer. Ako yung tagasulat, tagahost and everything. Uh, from three people, we went to six. Yung sa six ko na group, 
dun pumasok yung broadcast head of O Shopping who who mm. became one of who became who's now our broadcast head here mm. in Shoppertainment. So Lawrence mm. Lee who's also an executive producer for the three major networks um helped mm. us out. And then eventually we 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 created the the whole process faster and the parang higher quality. And then now we're 30 and hiring more. Um what's really interesting here is it's an integration of three industries. Yung mga na retrench actually uh, from from broadcast TV, of course from O Shopping also since the subsidiary also was affected. Mm. Uh, we we also have events and activations professionals and even mm. those from the publishing yung mga nagle layout ng mga uh, packaging ganyan, uh, for graphics so those people are they're very we we came together to create a different process for shop entertainment we have people from viva we have people from activations nakakatuwa different expertise talaga to make it work hmm. nagkaroon ng new opportunities para dun sa mga yes nawala ng trabaho definitely hmm. so tuwang-tuwa sila uh, na Meron nga kami isang employee parang sabi niya, akala niya yun yung end ng career niya kasi she was um, in that age already na feeling niya hindi na siya makakapivot. But we said, no, we, we value your expertise. Uh, she was from ano, events and activations. So with that, uh, we made her manager for one of the divisions, which was uh, project management. And true enough, na-apply namin yung events knowledge niya with, of course, the help of our digital um, fresh grads, yeah. Yung mga young ones naman, pinagmix namin sila together. And ang bilis talagang na natawid um, and we were able to make it work uh, throughout this whole pandemic. Mm. So, how does it feel to run your own business? Fulfilling. Very mm. challenging. There are nights wherein iniisip mo pa rin siya, alas tres na ng umaga, na para to, ganyan, ganyan. Pero at the same time, pag nakikita mo na nag-grow siya, nakikita mo yung mga tao, nag-grow din with you. Nakikita mo yung sales, syempre, tumataas. So, nakakatawa siya. Kasi, wow, it's not just um, um, starting something from an idea. It's actually seeing people grow with you and also helping you out to, to make an impact, especially in the media industry. You started the business just before COVID became a pandemic. So, Yes. But did it did it affect your plans or how did it uh, impact on your business? Actually, Roderick, naging ano siya, it was because the need for live streams increased. Before I remember, I was also doing accounts uh, when we started out. Nagihirapan yung mga tao maintindihan ko ano ba yung live stream shopping. Mm -hmm. Bakit ko kailangan gamitin yung live stream? So I had to educate ganyan pa ulit ulit. But when, but when the need for live streams and online activations happened, parang it was easier for us to to share the idea to to the brands the clients and they they really were very open because they were pivoting to digital and it was an opportunity for them to reach more people and the shoppers mm -hmm. so it it grew because of uh, what happened um yeah and we we found ways to not have a lot of physical interactions with each other rather just um and create processes and opportunities to still make it happen mm -hmm. for the brands, for the products, and for the shoppers as well. Mm. So, do, do you expect this trend to continue? Yes. Actually, mm -hmm. it's a billion-dollar industry in a lot of Asian countries. So, oh. we've been seeing a good trend in several countries. And definitely in the Philippines, it accelerated the behavior for live stream consumption. So right now, um, we're still waiting for the official data with our platforms, Lazada and Shopee. But prior to the pandemic, we heard that it's already 2 million in terms of live stream shoppers just for Lazada itself. But now, definitely, it grew. Mm -hmm. um, do you set criteria for the selection of items or products? Uh, definitely, we... We partner with brands who we know we trust, and we can also um, sell. 
Um, most of our partners are multinationals and, of course, our local brands who are like uh, um, popular uh, here in the Philippines. Uh, we're also open with um, some SMEs. Uh, we've partnered with Lazada for this since this is also their, their way to reach out to our SMEs. But uh, our main clients are mostly multinationals. So um, how do you manage your business and family at the same time? Uh, right now, kasi we're newly married. So we're mm. really focused with building our life together. So in terms of um, time with each other, I think we, we spend a lot of time with each other, not just at work, but also at home. Um, for my family, my immediate family, my uh, mom, dad, uh, we always call. We have a video call weekly. Uh, sometimes we get together and eat uh, inside the house. Mm -hmm. So I think um, it's not that uh, challenging for us to get together in a month. Mm. So what are your plans for shop entertainment, say, uh, over the next two years? Yes, definitely we're looking into making it a big network in Asia. So not mm -hmm. only in the Philippines, uh, we want to do it in different countries as well, um, making it bigger. Mm -hmm. um, by the end of the year, we're targeting 9,000 live stream sessions. Wow. Um, we've achieved 1,000 um, for last year, actually. Mm -hmm. So um, I think with the capacity, with the growth that we're looking at, this is something that uh, we can target mm -hmm. by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, we started in 2019. So as, as mentioned, hindi kami nag-pivot because of the pandemic. We actually saw it as a trend that will happen for e-commerce. So we really put it up um, when we saw the Lazada Live and the Shopee Live tools inside uh, the, the platforms, yon, we formulated it and then made it happen. And there, um, yeah, mm. almost two years. Na rin. Mm. So, uh, what lessons or insights can you share with other entrepreneurs out there? Definitely partner with the right people. People mm. who will not leave you to do all the work, but also have the same vision as you do. And magpipitch in ng work and resources for you to make things happen. So mm -hmm. they're not just there to give you money. They're there mm -hmm. to give you valuable advice, uh, connections and networks, and also some resources that you can use to start up and boot your, your operations. Mm -hmm. So yun yung nakita kong difference when um, I was a brand manager, when I was um, doing small businesses on the side, iba, iba pag meron kang partners na merong vision and help that would really offer you to make it bigger. Um, also, your core team is very important. Sometimes, uh, kahit na let's say expertise mo yung isang, uh, expertise mo yung business mo, but there are some aspects that you don't really see. And people who are part of your core team would really help you see that and make it better. So selecting the right people, especially in that aspect of the business, is really, really helpful. And it makes it faster. Definitely, it makes it faster. Um, also, not hesitating on, on investing in, in capacity. Because when people see that you have the capacity and the resources, definitely they give you trust that you can meet the demand. So that's what we have, um, capacity, resources, and definitely we're growing. Mm -hmm. Right now, uh, we have, uh, we're building more studios and we're targeting 10 studios by Q2. My, my story kasi is, um, I, I had a lot of failures as uh, part of media. Uh, I failed as an actor, I, I wasn't a breakout star, right? But I found ways to still pursue what I really wanted, which was media, be it on camera, be it in off cam, be it, be it in creating a business because the purpose is bigger than what you're actually doing. If your purpose is really to make an impact and help people and really change the industry, then um, it's not really about what you do, but what you see entirely. And what can you do to make those things happen? 
So yeah, I think it's really more of the purpose rather than the task that is given. That's more important. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Yas. See, that, uh, that was, um, like I said, we, we had some events, professionals also as part of the team. And we saw an opportunity that live stream shopping is a way to do the below the line advertising right now. So we've been doing push sales, yung promo dicing, yung mga voucher, yung mga sampling na yan that uh, usually you see in the groceries. Actually, Shopper Tainment is doing that, but it's online. So it's safe, yeah. it's fast. Our reach is very big. Uh, in one hour live stream, we have an average of 5,000 to 8,000 views compared to the traffic na uh, nandun ka lang sa isang spot. So it's yeah. that powerful and very efficient for our brands. So yeah. we saw that opportunity and really helped us to really grow shoppertainment as well. So apart from that, we've been doing events, but at the same time, the events that's related to e-commerce as well. So we find ways to always direct people towards the e-commerce store so that there would be a, a conversion in our con campaigns. Because that's what the brands need right now, especially with the crisis that's happening. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.